Can I show everybody what you're eating today? My little fluff man. We got Tammy. Oh, dude, what the heck? Look, look, blind boy. I have food for you. Food for you. Eat your food. Look at how light her colors are getting. Can you snack that thing? Oh, there we go, just like that. Hey, all we got is big stuff in there. Wow, even you <laughs> jumped, Brandon. Go ahead and take this off. Probably easier to do with my head. See that? There you go. Would you like this? Nice, dude. The shaky. Such a good eater, bro. Dude, I'm so proud of you, baby. I'm so proud of you. I got you a nice big rat. There you go, my friend. Dude, he's gotten so much bigger. How do you do? Oh look, you can see my camera and my shades. I hate these sunglasses. I need to go get my Costas fixed. They're a little on the broken side right now. But, what's up guys? It's your boy, Tyler one Over here at Ryder's Ranch. Beautiful, beautiful place. And guys, it is absolutely gorgeous outside. Like, it is just, look at this. Beautiful. The cold is gone. Got kind of cool last night down in the low 70s, which is absolutely perfect. Nice hoodie weather. Getting things done over here, cleaning and fixing and taking care of the freaking chickens, taking care of the baby goats. We got three baby goats left, three little girls. Two of them are sold, so I think she's picking them up in the next couple of days, and I'm keeping the one little baby. Been decent over here, keeping busy, keeping my head on straight. And uh, yeah, we got a fun video to do today. We're gonna feed all the venomous stuff. I got Brandon thawing out all the rats, and we got a snake for Rusty. Um, Shatid and Rusty both had shedding issues. Normally they shed in one piece, but for some reason Rusty shed in a bunch of pieces today. He's got a bunch of stuck shed on his head. Get all these rodents prepared, and then we're going on into the snake room for the rest of the day. And it's gonna be fun. Everybody's eating today. Five gallon bucket. Halfway full of rodents. Delicious. Everybody eating today. Everybody eats. That is a lot. And then we got little Chaka man. Little Chucky. Hey, baby Chaka. He's eating right now too, he's so stinking cute. Can I show everybody what you're eating today? Oh, you got some leaves in your water bowl? We gotta clean that. I'll take this water bowl out. There we go, I'll get you some fresh water. Oh yeah, he got some eggs, he got some baby corn. He loves baby corn, he had a, oh look, he's eating the egg right now. I gave him some hoppers earlier too. The mice are like the first things that he eats. Oh, you're just so cute, Chaka. I love you. Such a sweet little creature, my little fluff man. My fluffy little boy. I always have like a fresh water bowl down there for him and then he honestly likes this better. This little freaking, it's like a little gerbil freaking water holder thing in my jigger. You know what I mean? Can't think right now, my brain is mush. But yeah, he kind of likes that thing a little bit more. I'm gonna grab these rodents and get on in the snake room. My sweet baby. Hello. Hi, mama. Now you see Shiva still has that tilt. Her equilibrium is coming back slowly but surely. Oh, my sweet love. Oh, you break my heart. Let's see how you're walking today. Whoa, careful, careful, careful. Careful, baby. I really need to clip her nails, which I've been just prolonging to do for a minute. She hates having her nails done, dude. They're long and they're probably like uncomfortable for her. Like I really need to just like, I don't know, comment down below guys. Do you guys have any tricks? You guys have any high anxiety dogs that just hate getting their nails done? What do you give them anything? I have these CBD gummies that I give her that kind of like relax her a little bit. So I'm thinking about doing that. Maybe just give her a couple extra, you know, so she's a little bit on the drowsy side. And then she'll probably let me, uh, clip her freaking toenails because they're long. But as you can see, she's doing a lot better. I haven't been messing with her much. She just stays inside, she sleeps all day. But look, she's walking around. Look at that. Dude, I'm so proud of you, baby. I'm so proud of you. You're doing so good, mama. You gotta go potty? No, come back over here, baby. Come back over here, sweet love. She's like, let me back in. Yeah, you see how she stands though? Her head is just still tilty to the side. But she's walking so much better. Like even a few days ago, she could not walk around like that. You had to literally stand beside her and walk her everywhere because as soon as you would let go, that equilibrium thing, you know, she's tilted to the side, she would just boom, tilt and fall right over every single time. She would literally stand up, take a step, fall over. Super sad. But she's doing a little bit better. Yeah, look at her walking. So hopefully she fully recovers from this. 
And then there's some new injection that they did overseas for a few years and they just approved it for the United States. They've been doing it here for a couple of months. As soon as she's done with this little situation, I'm gonna bring her back. She's gonna get these injections to help with her arthritis and just relieve pain from her joints and stuff. So that hopefully she can, you know, I'm, I'm praying. Maybe I can get a couple more years out of Shivi. She's gonna be 13 in July. She's the best dog ever. I'm just so blessed. She's the sweetest, most nostalgic. My OG baby who's been here since day one. She's been through thick and thin with me, man. All the highs and lows. The last 13 years of my life, man. So much crazy stuff has happened. And Shiva has always been by my side. She's very special to me. Let's enter the snake room. No, oh, come on. Jeez. Oh my God. What the heck is... Oh my goodness. Yo, what is going on? Who escaped? Ah! Hey, dude! What the hell? How the heck does such a little lizard knock over a door? Bro! What are you doing, dude? Did I not lock the cage over it? Yo. Ah, hey, hey. Ah. Bro, they're both out. Ah, God. They're both out? What are you talking about? Oh my God, Aunt Kami is out? The cage. Thank you. That is not how you should handle your monitors. But I'm working on a whim right now because I didn't really expect to walk into that. So, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm still wearing the same clothes that I was wearing in the last video because we fed tortoise eggs to everybody. I had my buddy Jeremy here. Were you here 30 minutes ago? Yeah, we were here 30 minutes ago. And then freaking, I guess I didn't put the locks on because we were in a rush. And Cammy's out too. God dang it, dude. Where is Cammy at? Right there. Right there? Definitely behind here. I just heard her. Time to start feeding some things. And we're gonna start with the visual albino. King Apollo. I don't want to freak him out. I'm just trying to check this light up here because this LED light is out. Ugh, God. The LED lights are not as great as I thought they were gonna be. We keep having issues with them. It's just, it's, it's a pain in the butt. I'm trying to figure out the right lights. I got this company that's supposed to be sending me some lights soon, so hopefully those are better. But uh, we're gonna try to feed Apollo. I got my shipment of rats in from my buddy Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Barbie, if you're watching. Love you, miss you. You guys are the best. Anyways, um, so I've been feeding him hoppers, which is kind of on the small side for him. So finally got some rat crawlers again. So we're gonna try to go give him a nice meal. And he's a really big pain in the butt to feed. You have to catch him like this. He's gotta be chilling. There we go. So with Apollo, he was raised in a bin, so he's very skittish. And if you're feeding him, you try to give him water, anything like that. If I open up the cage and clean his poop or something, if I do that anytime a few days before that I'm about to feed him, he just gets all super irritated and he will not eat. So I just have to leave him be, don't touch his cage, don't touch his water for a few days. And then when he's sitting in his little ambush position, that's the only time you have. Like literally, you give him the rat, he has to take it right away. If he like gets spooked and starts moving around the cage, he won't eat and then you're just screwed. So I gotta be really careful with him. He's my most prized possession over here, snake wise. Yeah, I gotta make sure that he grows and eats. So okay, he's done, I'm gonna let him do his thing. Then we got our pet female. Right there, we're gonna go ahead and try to find a nice rat pup. Here we go, right here. Got a nice rat pup for her. Same thing, we're just gonna go right in front of her face. Give her a smack that thing. Oh, there we go, just like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hell yeah. Now we got the blackhead pythons. So let's find a nice small rat. Here we go, right here. Now, this is me and Steve, who's in shed. But uh, he's a great eater, so let's see if he's he's like he's looking like he wants some food right now too. Me and Steve, come on, wait, come on, get it, dude. Come on, get him, bro. Get it right here. It's right here, dude. I know you're blind right now. You can't see crap. Going back in there with that ball python. I'm wondering like why the heck is this ball python in here? It's all right. We're gonna make some black-headed ball pythons. It's gonna be pretty cool. Maybe it'll happen. Maybe it won't. It's worth a try. Come on. All right, I'm putting that up there. There's two snakes in here. He's in shed. One of them will eat. So let's go ahead, get another small for sweet Clementine. Hey Clementine. Look. Oh! What'd you do? Why'd you bite yourself? Come on. There you go. Nice. Just like that. I'll move on to the indigos. Alright, so we got the adult male, 2016 adult male Eastern indigo who is finally getting some good size. He was severely underfed from the person I got him from. So now he's just on a way better feeding schedule. Pumping down some food, man. These snakes can eat 
a lot. They have very fast metabolisms. They eat, poop the next day. It's really crazy. Uh, we don't have any lights in here, so it's kind of hard to see what the heck is going on. Let's see where I can find him. He's got to be here somewhere. Where you at, dog? Over here. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so let's get a... Uh, we're gonna do like a rat crawler. Don't bite my face up. Right here. Rat crawler. Come on. Come on. There you go. Right here. Look. Eat. Eat, eat, eat. I did feed them like two days ago. You did? Yeah. Alright. Like I said, real fast metabolisms. These guns are a little bit flighty. They don't like eating on camera or off the tongs. I just gotta leave it on top of their hide box and they'll eat it later. This is the other one. It looks like she's right over here somewhere. Yeah, she's in that corner. So let's go ahead, grab another decent rat. Mm -hmm. oh, come on out. There we go. This is the one that ate the snake. Smell? Yum. Food. Food for you. There you go. Beautiful. Love that. Now these are the pine snakes. Those hypo pines. We've had them together for a couple weeks now and they're locking up and breeding so hopefully we're gonna get some eggs from these guys I'm gonna try to feed them separately if I possibly can and then the females all the way in the back so let me see if she's interested in them hey dude hey listen bro take this come here look eat this one's for you look this one is for you sir sir Eat this. Look, right here. It's for you. Come on, give me a bite. No? Don't you go try to eat that females. Yeah, of course, he only wants that. I think he just wants the bang. Or he just wants the bang. Very possible. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw two rats in there. The male might not eat because he's just in, he's horny. So I'm just gonna let them do their thing. <laughs> and this area is just an absolute disaster. Normally, both of them shed. Shatid looks like she had a couple pieces that she shed. She shed pretty decent. Doesn't look like she's got a little bit of stuck shed on the back of her hood. And then Rusty has stuck shed on his head right there and on his body a couple different places. So we're going to have to make sure we're going to take him out before we feed him. He eats like a freaking horse, man. I can, I can mess with him and then put him back in the cage and feed him right away and he's no problem at all. But we definitely need to get that stuck shed off him because that's going to drive me crazy. Clean up his cage a little bit, give everybody fresh water. Rattlesnake's got some poop in here. We got some jumbo rats to frost it for them. And Cammy, where is she? I just heard her trying she's to climb. Oh yeah. <laughs> God. Yes, Cammy is still out, guys. We just had to get to work. I get all this stuff done. So, sounds like she's right behind these cages. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can freaking, I don't even know how the heck I'm gonna get her out. You know what, I'm just gonna leave her for now. We're gonna wait till she comes out a little bit and then try to catch her. Cause I, then I don't have to move all these freaking cages. So let's get back to feeding things. All right, so yeah, we'll do that stuck shed here in a second. Let's try to feed the mangs. We got, well, we got both mangs right here. They've been taken. Take a step down, so let's see if I can get you to bite on and hold. Look at that, love it. And then we need another small rat. We gotta do this rather quickly so that way the female does not smell the other rat and try to eat it from the other freaking snake. There we go. Oh my gosh, that was so easy. Ah, let go. Man, I spoke too soon. God, why'd I jinx myself? Come on, look, bite and hold, please. Please don't try to distract this other guy. I don't want him dropping his food on account of this one being a pain in the butt. The female's always the harder one to eat. The male eats right away now, no scenting or nothing. And then this freaking female, you really gotta persuade her to eat. All these arboreal snakes, if you tap the tip of their tail, that's what triggers them to eat in the wild. There's something trying to grab that codule lure. And then once they sense that something's trying to get the lure, that's when they strike and kill their prey. I'm surprised the other one hasn't dropped this rat yet, seeing how I'm freaking Finade on around it. God, hold it. Please, hold. Bite and hold for daddy. Please, dude. There you go. All right. Just gotta be super still so she doesn't let that thing go. 
I'm not even gonna close this cage right now. I'm just gonna kind of leave it like this. We'll just keep note that this cage is open. I'll just try to stay out of this area for just a second. All right, so Cami decided to make an appearance finally. Brandon's trying to get her. You got her? No. No? I'm gonna get her. She's just stuck in between this sink right now. Well, dang. There we go. All right. Ha ha ha. Brandon to the test. Hey, we go. Got we got Cammy. Ah! Oh, dude, what the heck? All right. Look, Brandon's getting freaking manhandled right now. Open her up. There you go. There you go. Wow. Got that. How you uh? How you doing over there? Uh, heart's racing a little bit. <laughs> Is it? I'm good. We got her. <laughs> you all done? Oh my god. Lost my glasses in the process. Oh, that was fun. <sighs> Eventually she'll be back outside. But I got a lot of upgrades and stuff to do over here, and all that costs a whole lot of money. And your boy doesn't have a whole lot of that right now. So slowly but surely over here. Speeding cobra time. Come on, look, food right here. Still can't get rid of these dang spitters. Nobody wants them. Give you a really good deal. Please, get them out of here. We're downsizing over at the ranch. Getting rid of all the stuff that we don't want to reproduce. And just keeping the goods. So we got some small rats for these guys today. Let's find another one. There's all sorts of crap in here. This guy right here is the female. There we go. Nice. Chinese cobras. There you go. Hey, don't eat your skin. Take that shit out of there. Thank you. There's a rat right there, dum dum. Got another little small right here. Gotta feed Kilo too, because Kilo's probably hungry. Look who's out and smells food. Alexis, it's Butter's girlfriend. You like this? It's a little bit big for you. Don't bite my fingers, please. She's doing so good, dude. So much better now that she's in here and. Just being able to be socialized all the time. Can't wait to have the walk-in enclosures done for Cammy and Bruce. Have that all done. And then I'm probably gonna move Butters, the other albino, move him inside, put him in a six foot vision so we can work with him like this and have Butters nice and chill again. I'm telling you what, keeping monitors outside just makes them freaking crazy. But they love it. So it's like, it's kind of a double-edged sword. It's like, you want your animals to be super happy and natural sunlight and all that stuff, but then they just get all nimbly bimbly and get all crazy on it. But as you can see, Alexis is doing awesome. Don't bite me, you there you go. Thank you. And now I'm just gonna grab a couple little more small guys and just put it in her little food bowl for her so she could just eat some more. Gave everybody eggs the other day, so, or earlier today. Now we got something in here for Gabby. She needs a good meal. What the heck are we gonna get her? Oh, there's a good one in here. Where does Gabby come from? Where does Gabby come from? The name. A Gaboon Viper? Yeah. Oh, okay. Gabby? Gaboon? That makes sense. Okay. Gabby the Gaboon? Right? I mean, I didn't know Shatheed was, you know, shit for the first like five Spell months. Spell out her name, that's mm -hmm. what she is. You know? Mm -hmm. Just gotta be family friendly over here. So, here's Gabby. Give you a little, it's a little tiny meal for you. Oh, God dang, dude. Dude, look at that. The whole freaking rat is in her mouth. That's wild. Wild. Just gulps it down. Then we got Kilo hiding in his hide box. Look, Key. You in shed? Hmm? Can't see him. Oh, what's going on. Yeah, not happy? Oh, Kilo. Look, look, blind boy. Come here. Look, dude, this way. God. Here, let me take it. Alright, so now that he's eating, just fill up your water a little tiny bit. There you go, give you some more H2O. Feeding everything today, and then the next couple days, we're gonna come back in here and just give everybody a nice clean, scrub all these water bowls, clean all these cages. Gotta go grab some more substrate and stuff. Relax, Key. It looks like he has some stuck shed on him again, too. Almost right. Doesn't that look like stuck shit on his freaking Definitely a stuck shit on him. God, what a pain in the butt. What might work in here is maybe get like a humidifier, you know what I mean? Just throw a humidifier in this room. Maybe it's just getting a little bit too dry for them now, this new setup that we have, now that there's heat lights on everything. Because I'm having some shedding issues over this last month. A lot of stuff sheds okay, but like you see, freaking Rusty's got stuck shed, Kilo's got stuck shed, pain in the freaking butt. And next up, we got this new beaded lizard. Actually, no, that's not the beaded lizard, that's an indigo snake. Duh. All right, so indigo snake. 
Let's see what we got in here. This guy should work right now. Now he's in shed. But, you know, sometimes these indigos, they have crazy feeding responses and they're super hungry all the time. So, oh yeah, there we go. Come on, eat. Oh, yes, I love when things eat in shed. It's great. And then we have that little freaking beaded lizard. Hey, look. I have food for you. Food for you. Eat your food. It is yum. Come on, please. Open your mouth. Bite the rat. Eat the food. Don't bite me. There we go. Yeah, it's for you. It's delicious. Go ahead and lick it and eat it and do all the things that you want. Okay, great. Next up, Gabino. Gabino, how are you? There we go. The Gabino ate the other day, but we're going to feed him again. Come on. Eat it. Go for it. There we go. Nice. Oh, yeah. Savage. Absolute savage. Now we got all these little black and white freaking spitters still. They're on sale, guys. Let me know. I'll give you a deal. Whoever wants little spitting cobras, let me know. We got a whole bunch of them, and I don't want them at all. Let's go ahead and feed them. Up. Here you go. Here's another one. We got our little Russell's Viper. Let's give him a rat pinky. All right, so we got a little rat pink for the Russell's. Come on. This guy is a little savage, dude gotten like twice the size too. Surprisingly, because he's so stinking small, but he's actually gotten a lot bigger since I've had him. Super, super cool snake. Now we got all these little albino rattlesnakes. Be very careful when you're opening up the bins. They are super springy. Yeah, they're very striky too. Oh, look. There we go. Just like that. Bada bing, bada bomb. Number two, all these freaking bins need to be cleaned out. Yeah, we're gonna do a super deep clean here in the next few days. We got the other beaded lizard who has aspen all in his water, of course. We need to get him a bigger water bowl. The water bowl is way too small. Yo, dog. Relax. I'm trying to find you some food. Don't be coming after me like that. I see what you're doing. I don't appreciate it. I'm trying to find you a good sized meal. No, oh, that's way too big. Gotta be real careful, because he's coming out after me. Dang, all we got is big stuff in there. Wow, even you jumped, Brandon. He's crazy, he'll come right out of the freaking cage to you. Damn, I think we got all, all everything in here is too big. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to defrost some stuff. We're gonna give him a medium wrap. You're getting a big meal today, dog. He can totally eat this thing, he's a savage. Go ahead, put him in there like that. Get his little cranky butt back in the freaking enclosure. Yeah, a psychopath. He always comes right out after me. And then we got the Gabino up here. Let's give her a nice meal. See what we got for her. Might have to defrost some more stuff. In a bit, we gotta take care of Rusty then first in just a second. We have a snake for Rusty also that we're gonna feed him today. Oh look, here we go. Rat crawler, perfect. There you go, would you like this? Nice dude. The shaky. Such a good eater, bro. The force of that bite, dude. You can just see how strong she's biting down with her shaking. Pretty crazy, dude. What an insane snake. Love that. All right, so we got Shatid. Now she's got some stuck shed on her, but I'm gonna leave it for now and just soak that cage down to help her because she is just real defensive. She does not like that at all. Rusty is not gonna be very hard to take the stuck shed off, but as you can see, Shatid just comes flying out the freaking cage. She comes all the way out here and she's just on edge all the time. So I'm just gonna take the rat. Put it on a high box like so, and that is enough with her. We're gonna play things on the safe side today. Now it's time to take this stuck shed off of Rusty. So let's get ourselves, let's get situated real quick. Time for the main event. Rusty, I don't know. Let's see how you're acting today. So yeah, we have all this stuck stinking shit on here, and you can just feel it. He's just dry. We definitely need to come in here. I'm gonna get a freaking humidifier later today. So yeah, we're just gonna go in here, make a mess, trying to get all this stuck shit off of him. And then I gotta carefully get him all the way out so I can sit down in this chair and pull the rest off of his face. And then Shatid only has that little tiny piece right there. Hopefully I can take a pair of tongs and get that off. Yeah, see, Rusty has it all the way even down, even down his tail like this on the very tip of his tail, which you gotta be very careful for. Shatid, almost every time she sheds, 
she has this little tiny spot on the tip of her tail. The shed gets stuck and it'll almost cut off the circulation of her tail, which is not good, especially if you let it go a few sheds without getting it off. It'll just kind of keep building up and uh, it won't come off. So you gotta make sure you get it all off. See how this is all coming off like this? Just nice and gently get it all off the tip because it'll even just kill the tip of their tail like that. So you wanna make sure you get it all off. And then we got some more shed here on his belly. Let's go ahead and kinda help him with that. Dude, it's so, yeah, I think it's just the aspen that he's on is just drying everything out. It's just making it not as humid as it should be. So we gotta fix this humidity issue in here because I want my snakes to have nice, clean sheds as much as possible so I don't have to do this every single time. This is the first time I've had to do this in a while for Rusty. Did you pee on me, dude? All right, so let's go ahead. Let's get him out so we can take care of the shed that's on his head. So let's go ahead. I'm pretty much just going to put him in my lap like this. Go ahead just like that. Get him by the head just like so. Here we go, dude. Alright, relax. It's okay. Let's go ahead and take this off. Probably easier to do with my head. See that? Look at that nice head shed right there. Those big ass scales on his head. They're just so stinking cool. Hi, dude. It's okay. It's alright. It's okay, dude. So just like that. Now he's now he's good to go. Right? And you're wrapping me up, dog. You're so cool. Alright, so let's go ahead. Put him back in his cage. We're gonna feed him today. So I'm gonna just kind of give this a quick little spot clean before we give him a sink. And I'm sure he'll poop in a couple days and then we'll go ahead and come back in here and give him a nice, like a serious deep clean. Because some of these cages got a lot of poop in there from the last feeding. So we'll go ahead, give him another water. Go ahead, grab this shed right here. Make this piece right here. This guy right here, excuse me sir, relax, I'm gonna give you a little food here in just a second, okay? Sweet boy, you are such a good cobra dude. Look at that dude, King Cobra. What? It's like a freaking puppy dog. Alright, so we got a nice ball python that I got from Wyatt. Wyatt, thank you very much. These ball pythons were ex-breeders that had neurological issues and they had to put them down on um, anything with that stupid spider gene they get that stargazing crap and it's just it's just not cool and then these snakes have crazy neurological issues so these ones were frozen and now they get to get fed off to king rusty look at that that's a good meal for you dude boom thank god i got a bunch of friends with frozen ball pythons just from previous things that they've been saving so They've been giving them to me lately, which is freaking great. Wild Cargo, Wyatt, appreciate it, bro. So now we got to feed Batman and Robin. We separated them a couple weeks ago because Robin stopped eating because of uh, just breeding season and all of that. So we're just going to give... We got, we got a big old rat. Just give to freaking Batman like that. And now the moment of truth, man. Robin hasn't eaten in, what, three months? So hopefully Robin is going to take this jumbo. So let me just go unlock her cage. I'm gonna clean up this crap on the floor from the mess I made with Rusty, and then we will try to feed her. All right, Robin. Please, 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 please. Oh, oh, oh we got a strike noise. That's awesome. Nice. Because we have not gotten a strike at all. You, you know, like mm -hmm. every time, I mean, you guys I'm sure know, every time I've tried to feed Robin for the last three months, she won't even strike it or anything. So thankfully now that we separated them, they're not by each other. They're not trying to bang even though they can't reproduce. Hopefully she will eat that freaking rat. Rusty's slamming down that ball python. Gotta give him some water. And we still got a bunch of other stuff to feed off. That was definitely like a breeding cycle she was going through. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, that's why, that's what snakes do, you know? Ball pythons are the number one snake that people email me. They literally send it to my booking info. If you guys are guilty, comment down below, because I'm sure a few of you have. All the time, I don't even answer them anymore. I'm sorry that I don't answer your ball python questions, but ball pythons just don't eat for months on end, all of the time. It's not yours, it's not theirs, it's just what they do. Okay? 14 months is my longest. Yeah, dude, it's what they do. Your ball python's not eating? Cool, it'll eat eventually. Don't gotta email my booking. For business only, not to talk about ball pythons. You want to talk about ball pythons? Email Brandon. 
Okay. So we got the puffs. Their heads are next to each other, so that's not good. Let's get you out of the way. Of course, they're super striking and crazy. Let's give you one. There you go. Take that. Now we gotta hurry up and feed the other one. Man, all I got is small stuff. Give you a mouse. It's okay. I'm gonna throw two in there just because it's a little bit on the small side. There we go. Push your water bowl back. Bada bing, bada boom. Everybody's eating today, which means everybody's gonna be pooping tomorrow, which means we're gonna have a lot of cages to clean over here because everything's crazy. So we need to uh, we need to thaw out a bunch of other stuff because we've missed out. Like we need a bunch more crawlers for these freaking false water cobras. All the little stuff will feed to the Gila's. We got a big rat in here, which we could probably go give to Bruce. Um, yeah, let's go feed the rest of this stuff off. I'm just gonna feed the Gila's and beat it real quick off camera. And let's go outside. Yes. Look, dude. Look, I got you. I got you a nice big rat. There you go, my friend. <laughs> Yeah, you are cool, dude. Big old meal. He'll eat it. He'll rip that thing to pieces. He ate a guinea pig last week, which was three times the size of that. Devoured it. Such a good meal that guinea pig was. And then we'll see what else we got over here. A few maple. Maple. Where are you, sweetheart? We got the water bowls. We got a pressure clean and everything. Oh, she's all the way over here. Yeah, she's behind it right now. Maple. Oh, don't bite me. Hey! Don't go over my fingers. Hey, go girl. Yum. Dude, she's getting so light. Like, look at how light her colors are getting. She was dark. Now she's lightening up a lot. I know. I'm sorry. You're trying to eat, and I'm petting you. She's okay. She's so cute, dude. I can't wait till she's big with Onyx. It's gonna be freaking awesome, dude. Like, they get gigantic. These black throat monitors get absolutely massive. I can't wait for it. And we got butters. Butters. Hey bro, look, food for you, there you go. Bro, Willie, holy crap Willie, you need to chill dude. Ooh. Hey, why'd you drop it? Don't drop it. Hey, look. All right, you're gonna be skittish? All right, so I'm just gonna put them on his hide box like I normally do. Sometimes I'll eat it out of my hand like you started doing before and then it gets all skittish. So I just leave it on his hide box. Let him eat it when he wants to. They're an onyx. Even though we just gave onyx a bunch of freaking tortoise eggs, I'm sure he's still hungry. This is like a bottomless pit. Come on, dude. Let's go. Let's get him to come all the way out. Come on. Let's go, onyx. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep coming. Keep coming. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Travis, what are you doing, dude? These tails are getting real small. I don't want you grabbing my fingers there, bud. I'm gonna keep on giving you some. Hey, here we go. Look, here's another one. Look, right here. Right here. There we go. Keep it this one. Travis, get out of there, dude. Swallow your food. There we go. Swallow your food. Thank you. Hey. He's so cool, dude. Like, dude, he's gotten so much bigger. I don't know if you guys remember when I first got Onyx at the Daytona Reptile Expo, what, two years ago? He was so tiny, he was way smaller than his tail is. Now look at him, just thick. He's got awesome colors. Freaking face, I love their faces. There's something about black throats. This like, this ridge on their nose. Dude, it's just so freaking cool looking, bro. So dinosauric, you haven't heard that word in a while, huh? Travis, are we gonna leave you in there? He's trying, so all, he's trying to eat all the eggs. Here you go, dude. Back in there, yeah, dude. Dude, he is so thick and healthy, bro. I love this freaking lizard. He's one of my favorites, dude. It's just awesome watching him grow up like this. He's just so chill and awesome. Even Maple is super chill. Even, even Bruce, they're not bad. They're not very defensive. They're all very chill lizards, even though we have to go grab them the way that we do to move them throughout the cages to make sure they don't take off on us and get loose. That's what we have to do, unfortunately. But once we have all these walk-in enclosures, it's gonna be freaking awesome. We just walk in with them, we'll have safety doors so nobody can get out, get in the enclosure, let Bruce crawl on my lap like just like I did with Onyx. Onyx, I trust, I, I can let him come out of the cage like that. Bruce, I would, but like, if Bruce wanted to just take off, dude, that's, that lizard is so stinking fast when they were catching up. So we gotta be, just be really careful with that. I only do that with the animals that I know like the back of my hand, like Onyx. You know, I know that he's not gonna run away, he's just gonna stay there, he's so food motivated, he ain't going anywhere. Just like that. 
we are finished. Me and Brandon got a bunch of other things to do over here. I got all sorts of other random things to take care of today. Got to renew some venomous permits. My venomous permit expires beginning of April, so I got to do all the paperwork for that. Me and Brandon just uh, did a whole inventory of the snake room a couple days ago, so we know everything that we got. I got a whole list of it on my phone. Got to update that with FWC get these permits renewed so we can keep on doing what we're doing over here guys all right i appreciate each and every one of you guys i appreciate all the support appreciate all the comments you guys reaching out making sure you're doing all right you know i really appreciate you guys it does not go unnoticed i love you guys thanks for just letting me do what i love for a living it really means the world to me i love it over here until next time peace out TylenolandTattoos.com for all of your merch. I'm working on a couple things. My website was down for a few weeks, so if you guys have ordered merch and you haven't gotten it yet, please, please, please be patient. I'm trying to get this all situated. It's through a third-party company, so it's been an absolute pain in the butt with my website and linking it to Shopify and stuff. Don't know. Someone stole my identity, took my credit card information. I had to change everything that I had on the website, and then they like flagged it somehow, and I'm still waiting for them to like reapprove it, saying that. So I had to like prove that I'm me, you know. Anyways, you guys are the best. I'll see you on the next one. Appreciate it. God bless.